Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Um, so today I woke, woke up craving a little bit of punch queijo. Punch queijo is Brazilian cheese rolls. I grew up eating them, uh, like at parties, at birthday parties, yeah, at gatherings and stuff. Um, and uh, since we're all quarantined, not really being allowed to leave the house, I figured I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna bake something that I like. So, a uh, bunch of queijo it is. Pessoal, tudo bem? É, hoje acordei querendo fazer ponte de queijo, estou com saudade de ponte de queijo. E eu me, mais ou menos vou mostrar do jeito que eu faço. Mas se alguém tiver alguma recomendação, algum ingrediente bom que eu, tô, que eu, que eu não ponho no meu ponte de queijo, que vocês acham que iria ajudar, ou se eu tiver alguma fazer, se eu tiver fazendo alguma coisa errada, me fala. Eu tô aberto a sugestões, dicas e elogios. Bom. So, some of the ingredients that you might need are, uh, well, not might, you will definitely need them. Uh, it's olive oil. This is from Italy, because I'm bougie. Uh, you want uh, 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 milk. I put heavy cream just to put a, uh, just to give a, 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 a um, creamier consistency and a cup of water. And you want polvilho azedo, azedo. This is a, a type of a, a yuca flour. Uh, it's a little bit drier. I think it tastes better in this bunch of kids. And uh, so what you want is a cup of water. You pour it in a pot and then you do like three quarters of a, a, a cup of olive oil. And then you do a cup of milk and then you put that in the pot. Explaining shit is so weird. Uh, and uh, you turn on the pot with fire and uh, you let that boil. And until it's, you know, when the, you know, when you boil, you know, when you heat up milk, it, uh, the milk kind of rises. So that's what you want to do. Um, that's it for now, folks. Cup of water. Yeah. Three quarters of uh, olive oil. Uh, I like to put an entire cup. Um, there we go. But you know, you, you can kind of cheat and just put a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just, just a little more. I hope this works. I kind of just cheated the, the, the recipe. Then we go back to the sink, we put a little bit more water. Uh, because, you know, we put a little bit more heavy cream. Uh, and then, oh, here we go. And then uh, we let that do its thing. And then, like I said, you... There we are. Fire, because without fire, uh, we're all screwed. Okay, so now we're waiting for this thing. And um, there's no need for a video. Yeah. So when it starts doing this, you... Turn off the fire. So, take this while it is boiling, and you need to put it in the mixture, okay? So this is this is what it's supposed to look like. You see, it's supposed to look like a, a mess. Okay, at first it will look like a mess. And if it looks like a mess, that's great. You're doing great. Um, excuse me. It gets to the point where you start getting these, like these blobs like this. Totally cool. Um, uh, I got my hands dirty, so I can't actually pick you up and make you see this. Oh, um, see this? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. So, um, but it, you know, it creates these little things right here that I really like to <clears throat> mix, um, just so it's not clumpy and I just like to really mix it. Um, so after this, what happens is, um, 
it needs to cool down because the next step is to add the cheese and add eggs. And you don't want the eggs to cook. Um, sorry, it's singing too loud. Same old thing. Um, so you don't want the eggs to cook because uh, that's then you wouldn't have punch cage. So um, what you do is you let it, uh, I put it in the fridge just to uh, cool off faster. And so I can make punch cage faster. So you put it in the fridge for until it gets to room temperature. And then you add eggs and then you add uh, the cheese and a little bit of salt. Um, yeah, that's about it. So it'll be a while until the next video. Good job. So I know I'm great at explaining things and I explained everything in detail. Uh, and if you couldn't follow along, that's your fault. Uh, and um, I'm kidding, I, I know that was rough. But um, I, next video coming soon. Since it is Poncha Keja, cheese roll, you need cheese. The cheeses that I like to use are from the state of Minas Gerais where I'm from, hey. Uh, uh, it's hard. Uh, it's called uh, Da Rosa Mineirinho, Minas Fresh Cheese. Uh, this is imported. I was able to buy it at a Brazilian store here. Uh, I'm probably going to use this entire little thing. Uh, and I also like to add some natural saltiness to it. So I add uh, Parmesan from Whole Foods. Uh, uh, this is aged Parmesan. It's aged uh, for 24 months. Right. So I'm just going to... Um, Grate the cheese and then I'm gonna add it into the cooled off uh, mixture. Mixture. Uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So after adding the cheese, uh, the grated cheese, you mix it a little bit and then you add six eggs. Uh, six eggs because I added more ingredients. Um, you usually want to stick to the recipe just to make sure that it'll work, but I've, I've done this before so I, I know that if I add a little bit of extra here, I can compensate some other areas. Um, and then after you crack, crack all the eggs, you go in with your hand and then you really mix it and then after that, it will become a little bit gooey, and that's when you start rolling the uh, cheese rolls. Uh, you put it in the oven. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so now I mixed the cheese, the eggs, and it should have this consistency right here. It's like, looks like an omelet. This is so not well done. Okay. Um, does that, does that work? Oh, I can do what I did before. See this? This type of consistency. All cheese, six eggs, uh, yuca flour, olive oil. Then you can add, um, uh, and then you can add uh, salt if you want. I'm sweating. Ah, uh, yeah.